For you is that he uh, go for the leg, forward, uh, a little to the left, a little to the right, and he twist the hand from the rider. This is when you ride him on the bit. When you uh, give the hand forward, he go with his head forward down, and when you have um, a little action from behind, a little pr prepare, then he uh, the reaction of the hand is that he. Uh, Bend a little bit in the pole. Yeah, he twist the hand, and then you can find he what uh, you have minder weight in your hand, and then you go with your hand forward, and then you go forward down. If you right your hand forward down to the hand, that is for me the basic. Yeah, to me, extremely important to analyze a horse um, right off the start, even at three years old. I mean, let's. Assume a moment the horse is, is broke, the temperament is already um, acceptable for a three-year-old. My concern is always the connection. Too many young horses are, um, are simply babied a little too much. Uh, the opposite is obviously not good either if they're pushed. But I always feel that we should give our horses a job. And that's especially um, the case with a three-year-old horse, I see too many horses, too many three-year-old horses that are just ridden forward, uh, the, the pole is not under control, and the horse looks unemployed. Yeah? <laughs> the horse needs to have a job, there needs to be a certain expectation from, from the rider about the connection. I totally agree with Cor, the horse should go uh, gently into the contact, and even a young horse should... Very, very much the same here with Strauss. That's one of his highlights. Any horse goes forward, but the question is, how easily do our horses come back to us? How easy is this transition? And how easily can the horse come underneath himself? This is great. And what we like here is just like we saw with Eidekus, that not only the horse is clearly engaged from the hip, the stifle, 